Okay, from Big Show, too. I just like what you see you know, lately with the ghettos and stuff, sometimes getting in there and they beat these guys. Uh, Vince, are you fucking retarded or something? How, how are people going to buy pay-per-views and watch Raw every week, you know, where, you know, Triple H versus Sheamus, and, you know, just last week Sheamus lost to Seth Green. <laughs> but, you know, Triple H should be able to bowl his ass over with no problem. <laughs> You know, I mean, it's no knock against them or anything, but, you know, I just, I just don't think they belong. And I, it was a big waste. Well, they don't want them to select you know, bad. Mayweather, it was half his fucking goons. All the money Vince paid, like, $5 million to get Mayweather, he paid yeah. a boatload of money. That's the whole thing. So he wasn't going to lose. They weren't going to have the celebrities look bad. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying, yeah. though, you know, then you shouldn't have them. Yeah. Big Show could have wrestled somebody else. You know, Floyd Mayweather could have got like somebody like one of his guys from his entourage or one of the wrestlers that, you know, Mayweather could be like in his corner and then you know, like he yeah. could could still do what he did because he nobody. didn't do shit the whole thing anyway. Till after Big Show was like jumped and then what did he do? I think he put him on brass knuckles, punched yeah. him one time. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. My number three was uh, which mania it was. I think it was two. I was uh, Hillbilly and the Midgets versus Bundy and the Midgets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> was yeah. Three, maybe? Two. I don't know. It sucked either way. Midgets don't belong in a pay-per-view. They, Steven Russell just ran around the big guy's legs and then Bundy, and then Bundy splashed the Midgets. Bundy splashed the one and the Midgets turned on Bundy. And, yeah. Uh, well, the Hillbilly and Bundy may have been a somewhat better crappy yeah. match. But it's, uh, it was terrible. Uh, I can't remember anything about it other than... I think it was, no, that was three because the second one was Hogan. Was Bundy and Hogan. Yeah. It was three. Yeah. Shitty match. They all blend in together. I think Kev. Uh, my next one is basically the whole pay per view of the first WrestleMania. <laughs> that was if it, if it wasn't be for the main match. That whole thing was so boring, and that was supposed to be the big first main event. You know, WrestleMania thing right. that was supposed to blow for the whole for the whole year. You know, they're supposed to be like the best matches. And it was so boring, other than the main event. And then you had to have Snooka in their corner. I mean, he could have had a match. And you had this other one in the corner. He could have had a Bob match. Orton was in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Piper and Orndorff. Yeah. Yeah, Snooka and Orndorff. Orndorff could have had a match. Three on three. Why didn't make it up? Yeah. So they had to get Mr. T involved. and had to get all this other crap. I think they... The, the big thing behind the WrestleMania, though, was it was the first one that was ever going to be, like, on closed circuit TV yeah. and stuff like that. And was going to try and go to a national audience, you know. That was, uh, I think, was it McMahon's DVD or one of them where that literally was make or break. They had, like, yeah. mortgage their home. Yeah. They had spent every day, borrowed money to well, put this thing on. If it had bombed, we may not be here talking about wrestling. Well, if you think that Executioner versus Tito, C Tito Santana is a main event thing of the best of the year, and you couldn't wait to see... Andre Stud, I guess, was the other kind that of match. That slam match, which is on my... Countdown. And then it was uh, <laughs> I can't remember what else there was tag matches. Um, well, the U.S. Express went against Volkov and Sheik. I, I I think what it was mainly was because like well in the area we live now was hotbed for WWE back in the day. Um, they used to taping for superstars and stuff. Yeah, you, used, you, you used to get you, know, you used to get. It was like, you know, like, Leap and Lenny Popo versus, like, you said, George Wells. You never really had name guys like Executioner or Tito Santana. I think that's why that the whole concept of that was the first WrestleMania, because it was like, supposed to be, like, name guys going to get name guys. You know, something you don't usually see, you know, maybe yeah. in, the, in the main event of the show, but the rest of the show is, like, two guys that get squashed in two minutes, and yeah. then, you know. Looking back now, yeah, it's probably the worst WrestleMania. Well, although two is pretty close to me, but yeah, that's that's on my countdown. <laughs> what? My number three comes from last year's WrestleMania. Uh, after uh, showing an Undertaker, a lot of I, I'm sure they were back there saying, "Oh my God, how do we follow this?" <laughs> <laughs> that was one Apparently, of the, they couldn't. That was one of the best matches of all time, and how do we follow it? Uh, Triple H versus Randy Orton for the WWE Championship was a big disappointment. All those months of Triple H and Orton feuding, uh, Orton taking out, 
Vince, then he dug out Shane, then he RKO'd Stephanie, kissed her on the mouth, you know? <laughs> Triple H comes and breaks into his house. <laughs> Random people are Random there. people are running all around. And, uh... Dream makeover, WWE edition. <laughs> yep. <laughs> then they make this rule that if uh, Orton gets to... You can't get disqualified. Or, 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 Orton made that rule. If Triple H gets disqualified, he loses the title. Yeah. So then there's, they can't be, uh, you know, uses of sledgehammers or, you know, what you think what they would have. It would have been a no disqualification, yeah. no count out. They should have did that. Months of Triple H was out for revenge. Yeah. It's not even about the belt. I just want to get you. Yeah. And then you get a spine buster for what you did to my wife. Don't worry, Triple H, we put you in the Hall of Fame nonetheless, but... <laughs> it was so boring, we were watching it in his house, and we didn't even know, well, oh, it's over already? Yeah. And then I think the end was Triple H used the sledgehammer on Orton anyway, behind the referee's back, and pedigreed him. And everyone was expecting Orton to win, so it was like, huh? Triple H just won? Yeah, it was... <laughs> One well, of those types of things. We're talking about Taker and Sean. And yeah, yeah. I, after that match, I think we all were hyped. Like, like we couldn't sleep. <laughs> and, then, and then we're like, oh, okay. But... I just don't understand why, if Vince knew Sean and Taker was going to be that good, why he didn't think that could be the main event, and why he felt Triple H and Orton or or needed to be the main event. Like, people would leave, or turn off the TV, oh, it's just Sean and Taker. Who cares? You know? <laughs> Too I, old I don't know. I, I just really think that should have been the main event, and I hope Sean and Taker's the main event for this WrestleMania, but... Probably won't be. It'll probably be Cena and Batista. Cena winning the belt has to be the main event. Mm. Man. God forbid it was something. <laughs> <laughs> the planet would stop spinning. <laughs> Joe, number two. My number two, uh, again ties in with my last one, uh, was uh, WrestleMania 2, uh, Rowdy Piper versus Mr. T. Boxing match. The boxing match. Uh, it was kind of cool because it was a different concept, but uh, I didn't really like it because of a lot of the things that I heard, like Mr. T was a fucking prick for a lack of better terms, like he had no respect for the business. I mean, that's why, like, uh, on uh, Piper's DVD, he talks about it, and he says, like, you know, like, he was throwing, like, real punches and stuff like that, and when they were doing the press conferences leading up to it, like, he had to tell him, like, you know, calm down and shit, you know? I mean, it's just, you know, much like your TV show, and, you know, you come in here and you think you're all badass, you know, because you kick in the door on a TV show. That's made out of balsa wood to begin with, you know. <laughs> like, he, he kind of berated Mr. T, and Mr. T just that. Uh, and then the way it ended, you know. Piper slammed him, got yeah, the ball yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, it was mostly because Mr. T had I think respect it went for the business. Four or five rounds of just nothing. Yeah. They were dodging each other, like two girls that didn't want to fight. Yeah. <laughs> then he slammed him. Uh, what do we got to Number two. My number two is, uh, I don't know what Mania it was, but. The uh, ECW Originals versus the New Blood, whatever they were called. New Breed, 23. New Breed, yeah. Uh, the ECW is usually always the curtain jerker throwaway match because Vince doesn't give a shit about it. Apparently that's why I get rid of it. <laughs> I don't remember that match at all. Anybody? RVD won, I think. What, the Frog Flash? I think he pinned Stryker. Stryker. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was just a... Not that I expected it to be Taker show on, but... They could have did something for ECW for months of promoting this feud, and then it's on in like five minutes and it's over. Number two was my, is my, second, well, second choice of mine is the whole pay-per-view of two, WrestleMania two, when it comes with three different places. Oh, yeah. I thought that was kind of stupid. And why did they have to come from three separate sections, and the commentating was boring. Half, half of them? Other than JR, of course, if he was there. JR wasn't there for WrestleMania. I don't JR. remember. No. No, he came out with Bobby Heenan on that. That was like WrestleMania 9. Or oh, like. okay. Damn. So, anyway, they were boring. And the main events were okay. Hogan and Bunny were, I think, the best. There was a cage match. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. main event, the other venue was that Battle Royal that Andre won. Yeah. That was in the Battle Royal was in New York. Piper and Mr. T was in Chicago. and. Hogan and Bundy was yeah. in LA. So you paid 50 bucks for a ticket. You got to see like one TV of, all night. Yeah. Then your match. Right. So you saw one match live. And the rest was all on closed circuit. Yeah. So that whole second pay-per-view 
So if you were in that main city, you, you watched the main event on TV. Nah, no, 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 no. That would have been fun. Like, to spend all that money on WrestleMania, and you get, like, the Divas Battle Royal, 